circulatory system is absent in flatworms and mesenchyme or parenchyme acts as a medium of transport of nutrients and waste products. Excretion and osmoregulation. The removal of waste products of metabolism like ammonia and other non-useful materials is called excretion. Whereas the regulation of amount of fluids in the body is called osmoregulation. The excretory organs in flatworms are protonephridia which end in specialized cells called flame cells and flatworms are ammonotelic animals. Here you can see the excretory pores and these are all collecting tubules of protonephridia and they are fitted with the flame cells. These flame cells collect excreta from the mesenchyme and sent out through the excretory pores present on the body surface. These are found only in the flatworms and each flame cell is a single hollow cell. Usually they are of irregular shape which send out some pseudopodia process into the surrounding tissues and its broad base encloses a tuft of long cilia or flagella which continue to beat incessantly and this resembles a flickering flame that is why these are called flame cells and each flame cell has an intracellular lumen or cavity and which has a few cilia and this one is the cytoplasm and cilia arise from the basal granules. So the beating of cilia channelizes water and waste materials into a system of tubes and these tubes form branch networks or branching network that extend throughout the body and maintain direct contact with the body tissues and ultimately the excreta are sent out through excretory pores to the exterior and the function of pseudopodium is to phagocytize the excretory product in the mesenchyme then they push into the cytoplasm by the flickering action of cilia they are pushed into the branch network of tubes from there through excretory pores present on the body surface they are sent out Nervous system in flatworms is a primitive type and it mainly consists of a pair of cerebral ganglia or brain. Here you can see the cerebral ganglia or brain and one, two, three pairs of longitudinal nerve cords. These two are longitudinal nerve cords and these two are connected to each other by transverse commissures. Thus it gives appearance of a ladder. That is why nervous system in the case of flatworms is a ladder like nervous system. So actually a brain is made up of a pair of ganglia. So let me define here the meaning of ganglia. Ganglia are two masses of nervous tissue that lies in the anterior part and form the brain and this ganglia they lie at the anterior end of is the nerve cords. Sense organs these are absent in parasitic forms whereas in free living forms there is a pair of eye spots like flatworms these are a pair of eye spots present in the anterior end or near to the cephalic ganglia. Generally these eye spots they are sensitive to light and they can detect the intensity of light and usually flat free living flatworms they show negative phototaxis that means they move away from the high intensity light. The organs of adhesion or attachment are hooks, suckers and spines. These are hooks, there may be some spines and also suckers. It may be two to four suckers in platyal mantis. 
all of them they are useful for adhesion or attachment that is why they are called organs of adhesion 